Alright guys. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about this 17k game with my friend Robert and uh I don't have him, his and I's voice going on, so that's you're just gonna have to listen to me talk and explain like exactly what we were doing throughout the game. Simple stuff like that. Uh what is it? We were playing with my friend Spencer and it was Robert and Spencer's had some lagging issues today, so he ends up lagging out at some point. But uh, my friend Robert and I, we play the rest of the game. I end up dropping 17 kills, he drops 6. And uh, you'll see how it goes. So, right around here, we decide that we want to go around back dam. We like to play on the outside a little bit, stuff like that. You know, any Anywhere on the outside that much. Like, we just don't like the lower big city parts of the map it's just it just doesn't suit our game style so I realize you know we've got people dropping with us and I'm just trying to pick at this guy's armor as much as I can I see that he's splitting with his team and I know he's got no armor so I'm just gonna go ahead and push him and do what I can I know not many people are going to see this, I'm just doing this for fun, you know, I'll look back on this someday, you know, I'll have fun. I know Spencer, you, you'll be watching this, you know, you'll enjoy watching our gameplay even though you lagged out, but if you guys hear my birds in the background, I got birds in here, you know, I don't, often, I don't, you know, I don't make videos like this, so, it's, it's cool. So I see that kid, I know that there's guys in that yellow house, so I'm just going to let them be, um, we're just gonna wait, you know, just wait it out, see what we got. You know, none of us have good guns. Uh, we're pretty split up right now. Spencer was lagging, so he, I think he got dropped right under. I know they're getting in a gunfight, so I go ahead and just chip at this guy's armor a little bit, just to kind of, you know, stir it up a little bit, get get a little, you know, get things moving, get people to kill others there, and uh, yeah, that's it. Once we think that one of the teams got wiped out, we move up. So right there, uh, Robert and I, we, we both know that you know, I'm more confident when it comes to my gun skill. So I ask for the better gun, and I push up forward just to lay some hate on these guys. <laughs> um, yeah, we wipe them out. And, uh, we start regrouping around here. We're getting pretty confident that no one else is around here, but you'll see that that later changes. And this is where the slow game pay, gameplay comes. You know, we're just we're on the outside, not a lot of action or not much you would expect. I think we're just gonna grab this contract and move up wherever, press up pretty hard on whoever whoever it lands on. So right about now, we kind of figure out that Spencer's probably not going to be able to play, play with us for the rest of the game. Uh, he starts his mic, I think. I don't know what happened, but he, he kind of went quiet. And this way. we just we decided that, you know, we just got to play as a two-man from now on. So I, ch I chip at this guy's armor a little bit. Him and I are sitting there, calm, you know, contemplating on if we want to push up or not. So, so right here we we're deciding that we just got to go in for the kill. We're gonna go push up on these guys. We know there's one team up here so far and we're feeling pretty confident in ourselves and then this is where we see a truck coming up so I'm gonna hug this tree or this rock and I see that airstrike so now I'm like alright I have to get in this house 
Once I get in at the pool 100%, yeah, I gotta go in for the kill. Realize it's just one dude. He's down, but I don't know if anyone else is outside, so I'm just kind of listening right now, just making sure no one else is around. I've got no armor, but I see this kid and I, I decide to engage, which I probably shouldn't have. Uh, you know, it's just how it goes. Sometimes people sneak up on you and you make bad decisions. Uh, we get taken out here. And we go to the gulag, but... You know, that's what's so cool about this game is you got a second chance. On top of more chances with your teammates being able to buy you back. So Robert here, he calls out, he went to my right side, so I'm able to catch him before he catches me off guard. And uh, I decide, you know, we're going to go back to where we were, because Spencer's there, and we kind of have like a little bit of hope that he'll be able to play with us still, even though he's lagging really bad. But we go there anyways, and while I'm dropping, I see the team that killed us earlier. In the, hostiles in the area. Oh, shit! So Robert wins his gulag and he deploys behind them a little bit so he's coming up behind this guy but he's got he's got better guns and he just gets them but I'll wipe the team. You'll be right. I'll fix it. As we wipe that team, another team you'll see in a second starts creeping up behind us, but we'll we'll take them out. <laughs> So I know he's occupied shooting at my friend, so I just decide I gotta push up, take him out, one dude by himself. Then I hear more people shooting at Robert, so I'm like, alright, yeah, it's time to go in. So right around here, him and I are trying to decide, you know, if it's one or one guy or not and I gotta pick him up before he bleeds out so right around here I decide alright I just gotta push up kill these guys you know if it's one or two I kill them or not thank god it was just one dude I'm able to pick up my friend and get back into this Friendly UAV overhead. I'll check round here. Moving up there.
Go on over here. Hostiles in the area. Hostiles in the area. Moving up there. UAV entering the AO. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Friendly UAV overhead. Headed this way. One thing I would change is I probably shouldn't have shot that guy as early area. as I did. I probably should have just waited a little bit longer. He probably would have stood still. It would have been an easy down, but I end up getting a little trigger happy and shooting a little early. But we keep it together and we get these guys at some point. Watching this, I never check again if there's this guy in the house to my right, which we knew there was one at one point, but at this point I push up. I get shot in the back because of that, and I should have checked, or I should have been more cautious moving up, but I didn't, and yeah, that could have cost me the game. Yeah, thankfully it didn't. Um, just taking my time listening right now, making sure, you know, who's around or not. There he is. The baby monitor tells me who's that. So right here, you'll see where I get mixed up. I'm moving. I see one dude shooting at him, and I see my friend's bullets being shot in the ground behind, which I at first thought was another guy shooting for a little bit. So I'm thinking that there's two people here, so I'm kind of like bugged out. You know, if I knew it was one dude, I think I would have been quicker on picking him up. I might have been more aggressive, but right here, I'm like, I'm like, crap, I don't know how many people there are around us, so I'm just kind of just taking it slow, taking it cautious. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in a corner for a little bit. Just listen and stuff. I hear him going by my door, but I like what he does here. He's pretty smart on breaking the glass. You know, that that would get you shooken up if you weren't paying attention. So he trips Robert's mine, and I'm like, alright, you know, he's weak. Time to move around a little bit. one guy so I'm kind of disbelief like what dude no way I'm like there's there there's definitely more people in that but no it's just one guy so we finished him off we get back into it got a vendor here if you need supplies Alright, so right around here, we are, I, I cut some of it out, it was just us like doing edge walking to kind of just, not exactly avoiding people, but like, just, there was just no, anything around us, there was no gunfire around us, and we decided that we really didn't have to move, the circle was already kind of near us, so we were just sticking to the edge, chilling out, but uh, it's 
final few circles, we're like, all right, we need to push up. We need to do some stuff. Uh, we hear teammates, I mean, not teammates, we hear teams fighting close to us. So we're going to sit here and Going just engage on, you know, whoever sees us or anything, anything important we're going to deal with. But at the same time, we're kind of taking it slow. We're just... I knew there was people in the dam earlier, so I'm taking a look. I hear him shooting. I see one kid. I know it's not the smartest thing, but like, I'll if, if I can take a good shot, I'll take it just to like chip some armor off. Cause you know, ar armor, at the end of the day, is what's gonna save people from me killing them. And if I can get a good shot, I'll go for it. Which sometimes, you know, I just gotta like bite my tongue and hold it and just not shoot but most of the times I end up shooting and sometimes I regret it most of the times it's just you know like right here I'll take one shot and I'm like alright that's it no more like I can't can't risk uh, everyone else knowing where we're at anymore Enemy UAV overhead. I don't have ghosts Robert does so they see where I'm at on the UAV they're probably going okay it's just one guy um Right here, this guy stands stands still pretty much. Free kill. I'll take it and I'm done. Like, like I gotta leave it alone. No more. I don't want to give away my position too much. Uh, Robert's gonna call out people up here. I'm gonna be stupid again. I'm gonna take some shots at it, just to chip some armor, whatever I can do. A few of these are gonna miss, which I'm, I kind of question. I hit the sign there, but right there, I'm like, hmm. I feel like I hit that guy, but it's whatever. He wants to push down left and push up. I told him I wanted to stay up here where it's like high ground. And we just decided to like kinda like stay up here. Uh, these guys are shooting at each other. This is a great example of why you kill people when they're down as fast as you can. This guy picks himself up and he gets behind the tree. Nine enemies are still active. Finish off his teammate, he's there, blows me up a little bit, Robert finishes him off. Gas so far we're doing pretty good. Let's get to the final few few moments of this game. And we're feeling good about ourselves. We're like, you know, dang. Alright, right here we're like we're like this is it. Like you know, we've played so many times together and you know, we've been in the final five, final ten so many times and always ends. You know, we always get picked off, but in this game we just we held it together. So I'm just using the heartbeat scanner right now, just trying to catch some people. Um, there's people down at the, down at those houses. Robert marks this kid, take him out instantly. Just one dude. It says there's five people up there, but it's uh, it's just a two v two right now. So waiting for this circle to close a little more, and then this one we Robert spots him, and that's where we go in. So that guy's behind the tree. I don't know if I'm going to shoot him anymore. So I try and finish off his teammate. Make sure he doesn't self res. Pull out the sniper. It's just him, man. Miss all my shots. I'm like, alright, time to finish this with the growl. There you go. That's my first game winning with Robert. Probably one of the most most fun games I've ever played. Just had a great time playing. Robert, if you're seeing this, I know you can't really hear me right now, but I just want to tell you, man, that was a great game.